We've been driving around, singing songs way too loud because we wanna. Picking up our love friends, we love to cry to live because we wanna. We wanna. Yeah, we just wanna. Hi everyone, we're gonna try something fun and different today in the studio. So I hope you're gonna enjoy this. So many of you probably don't know, but in addition to doing paintings, I also sometimes work with tumblers. So today we're going to sort of combine painting with my tumbler in a different way than I've done before. So hold on and I'll show you how this is going to work today. Okay, so I have, this is a 20 ounce skinny straight tumbler from Makerflow. It is a double wall insulated stainless steel. I have prepped it, which means I have sanded it with my 60 grit sandpaper, cleaned it, and spray painted it with white flat paint. So that's ready to go. Then what I did is I took some of my paint skins. Now these are from the pour that I called Cotton Candy Skies. And I had those beautiful large paint skins. Um, I will probably put that picture here for you so that you can see it again. So I cut out two pieces that are the right size for wrapping. They're a little big, but I'll trim them as needed. To make a wrap, one around the bottom and one around the top of my cup. So we're gonna put those on, and then in the middle area, I've got some beautiful uh, pink passion glitter that we're going to do our middle area in. So let's get our Mod Podge going. I'm gonna take that off and lay that back there on the parchment. I'll stand this up for a minute. Okay, I have taken some of my Mod Podge. I've put it in a little cup. I've got my brush ready. So what we're going to do is we're going to brush some glue around the bottom of the cup, about the height that that's going to be. It doesn't matter if I'm totally accurate here. I just want to get it all around the bottom of the cup so that sticks. If I'm too high, it's okay. It dries clear. And we're going to cover that center section with glitter anyway. So we're going to put some nice Mod Podge around here. We're going to take our first paint skin. And I want to leave a little bit of a gap because there's a like an, a lip on the edge here. We're going to roll one side down, and then on this side I'm going to have to do some trimming, which I knew I was going to have to do, but I figured I would wait till the last second and see exactly where I was going to need to do that trim. Alright, I didn't get it quite matched up, but that's okay. I might be able to squeeze it around a little. All right, so I'm going to make sure I rub this down really firmly all the way around. Make sure it is really attached well to the cup. Okay, pretty good. Seam in the back is a little messy, but... All right, so that's our bottom. Now we're going to repeat the procedure up top here for the top half. Good. Make sure there's no bubbles or wrinkles. And then what we're going to do to seal it is we're going to take our Mod Podge and we're going to go over the whole thing on top. And we're going to cover everything with a coat of the Mod Podge. Okay, so 
So we're going to let that sit and dry. And then we'll be ready to move on to the glitter. So hang in there. Okay, we are ready to move on to the next step. So I have my Mod Podge, my glitter, my tumbler, my brush. So in this step, what I want to do, I may have to get a different brush, is I want to carefully put Mod Podge in this open area, but not get it on the paint skin as much as possible. So we're going to start the big areas. Be really careful when you get up into the little crevices around the paint skin. We're going to try not to glitter over top of the paint skin. Life was dull until you came. I was breathless when we first met. Couldn't keep my hands away. Okay, so that's all nicely dampened. I'll set that to the side. Put our glitter. We're just going to sprinkle the glitter all over the center section of the top. Now we'll probably have to do a second coat. That's okay. Woo, this is that pretty. Oh, oh, that's actually what we do. Okay. brush in a minute and brush the loose. We'll set that there for a second. Alright, now because this is a semi chunky glitter, I'm going to take a little parchment paper. chip brush to brush off any excess and we'll decide whether it needs a second coat or that we have enough coverage with just one. It's looking really good right now so we may not need a second coat. So fix a few spots. But I am liking that. That's pretty. All right we need to let that sit for a while. Let the Mod Podge dry. That all set. When that's done, we will coat the entire thing. Once we've brushed off the excess, we will coat everything with another coat. Well, we'll probably use a coat of clear spray. Ooh, I forgot the bottom. Don't forget your bottoms. Let's do that bottom real quick. Alright. 
Let that sit, rest, and we'll be back for the next step. Hello everyone, I'm doing a voiceover for this since I'm wearing my respirator. So I did put a second coat of the glitter on this. I then sealed it all over with some clear spray, the Rust-Oleum 2X Clear. And now I'm going to put on our first coat of resin, and this is our Counterculture DIY Fast Set Resin, which I've already mixed up. We want to put a nice smooth coat over the whole cup and once we're done putting our coat on then we will give this a nice torch and it'll be ready to move on to the next step so we're just gonna smooth this all on give it a torch and then we'll move on to the next step hang in there okay that Epoxy layer has dried. I have done some sanding. We're gonna put our decal on and then we'll be ready to move on. So I have this set here so that the center of the cup is at top. I have my decal all ready to go and we're gonna work on putting this on. So my decal is right here. What I have is I have some regular blue vinyl on top of some holographic vinyl that has a pink blue shift. We're going to sort of find the center of our, we just find the center point. I'm going to give myself a little mark here. I can center that. So I want to find my center spot. I'm gonna start that down. Now this may be too wide for me to do this while it's on this. So I may have to lift it a bit, but I'm gonna work on putting it down on that side. We're gonna work to this side. Always thought that you were weak, but babe, you're we want to burnish it down a good bit before we peel this um, transfer tape off. Make sure it's down well. Alright, that's looking good. Alright, peel that transfer tape off. Okay, we're ready to do the first coat of the final resins. This is KS Resin Liquid Art Ultra UV Epoxy. It is a one-to-one -one ratio epoxy. I've got 20 milliliters of it all mixed up and ready to go. And we're going to put that on in a nice, even, thin coat. And then we will give this a torch and we will be ready to move forward to next steps. Okay, we are ready for the final coat of resin. Now off camera, I did pinstriping on this cup. I've also done some sanding to make sure it's nice and smooth. I've got my resin all mixed up, but we're going to put a little additive. This is It's Pretty Personal Diamond Dust Touch of Neon Cheat. It's an ultra fine glitter. We're gonna put just a very small amount of this into the resin. Look at that sparkle. And then we're gonna stir that up real good. And that's just gonna add a little bit of sparkle and shine 
little extra sparkle and shine to our cup. So let's get that final coat on, give it a torch, and this one will be done. Okay guys, we're calling this one done. And many of you will know by the phrase on it, who I made this for. So Angie, if you're watching, we need to talk. Let me give you a close up on this. Thank you so much for watching and being here for my first Tumblr video. Hold on for the close up. Okay, I have the final dried results on this cup. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up, a comment, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell for more videos. Look at the sparkle and shine in this one. Have a wonderful day, everyone.